Beep, 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 Look, beep, look beep, up. Beep, Mom's getting your picture. Go, buddy, go. <laughs> Good. Oh, yay. There's, he's actually putting one in front of another. This is reality, guys. He is so upset. He has done this like the last three therapy sessions. No, he doesn't have therapy today, does he? So I think Aiden has finally calmed down, you guys. He has done this the last three times we've been here. Um, but he's okay now, and the girls are on the playground, so. So far, so good. Look, what's up? Mom's getting your picture. Go, buddy, go! <laughs> Oh yay, there's he's actually putting one in front of another. Good. Good job, buddy. Everybody's watching. They say that we won't win. Yeah. Girl, I know I loved you from the first time I saw you. So I'm ready for this. Yeah. Put it in the papers. Our love is going big, yeah Guess we're underrated The haters keep on hating But we're ready for this, oh No, your mom doesn't like me much And your dad hates to hear my name So the pressure is on all lives on us This is our world series game, yeah I see them crowding in, yeah, for many different reasons, but winning every season, we're ready for this, hey, put it on the TV, I'm betting we won't lose, no, my heart is straight forever, we play this game together, I'm winning girl with you. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is a horrible setup. I'm so sorry. I was gonna do better at this. Really, I was. I was going to do better, but this is what you get. This is what you get, you guys. This is how I'm going to do this video because I'm tired of trying to fix it. <laughs> so my, my camera stand broke and it's too loud in there because of Aiden. The girls are currently gone, but like literally they're due back any second so I may still run out of time and trying to do this video for you guys I'm not even gonna tell you guys what you guys are stacked on right now you're stacked you're stacked on underwear I'm just being honest it's clean underwear no worries I look like I'm in heaven I'm sorry and I'm pretty sure you guys can see Okay, we're just gonna do this, right? Because really all you need is the audio of this video. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the lighting is doing or really what my hair is doing, who cares? So, okay. I'm sure you guys have noticed over the last month, couple months, 
Um, the videos, the daily vlogs have been very sporadic or I've missed a day or I've missed two days or I've just seemed down or I don't know. There's been a lot going on and I feel like I'm at a point now like I can share kind of what happened and what's been going on. Um, so those of you who know or have been watching our vlogs for any amount of time, you know that in February of this year, uh, my husband and I, we had a miscarriage and it was really hard. And I kind of shared the whole process with you guys from like finding out to the whole finding out where it was a miscarriage, everything. Like I just shared everything. Well, on May 28th, we found out we were expecting again. So I was pregnant again. We found out we were gonna have a baby on May 28th. And it was a huge shock. We were not trying, definitely weren't trying after a miscarriage, like wasn't even on like our radar of something we were ready for, you know? So we were shocked, um, but we were also really surprised and happy, you know, we were really happy, but instantly, you know, when you've had as many miscarriages as, as I have, I've had five, um, this would, this is my fifth one. <laughs> so initially everything looked great. Like I found out I was pregnant on the 28th. I started panicking of course, um, because I know how prone I am to miscarriage. Y'all, my head looks like it's in like, like up there with Jesus or something. What's going on? I should have closed my curtains before I started this. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I went to the doctor. They did my blood work and my blood work looked stupendous. Those were her words. Your blood work looks stupendous. I went back two days later. I got another draw for my HCG levels. For those of you who are confused and you don't know what all of this is, HCG is the um, hormone that you produce during pregnancy. It's called human chorionic gonadotropin, um, and it is produced by the growing placenta um, that nourishes your baby throughout a pregnancy. So my HCG levels looked great on my first blood draw, second blood draw, they were doubling, third blood draw, they were tripling, and they just kept going up. Like I think I had five blood draws and every one of them looked amazing. So they were saying, yes, awesome, this is a super successful pregnancy, uh, but we need you to come in one more time. Like wait a week, so they had me wait a week after my fifth blood draw, and they said, come in, this is your last time, we just wanna make sure. So I was like, okay, cool. At this point, I'm not even worried. Like I have no stress about it. I am just confident everything is going to go great. So I go in for my sixth blood draw on a Monday and I come home, I don't think anything of it. I get a call the next day and they say your levels did not double. In fact, they only went up 50 points in the last week. And for those of you, who don't know in early pregnancy your levels are supposed to either double or triple every 48 to 72 hours um they did not even come close to that and uh, she said i i hate to you know be the bearer of bad news but i just want to prepare you that this is probably not a vital pregnancy and it was literally like a knife in the gut because i just had a miscarriage and i guess in my head i thought well it's not going to happen two times in a row, you know, like it can't, it can't just happen twice, you know, but it did. And I'm at this point, I'm still trying to like, hold on hope, you know, like I'm Googling things and I'm trying to figure out like, okay, maybe there's still a chance. Maybe things just are slow to develop. I don't know. Um, so I went back two days later, levels were, went up maybe two points, went back two days after that and they had dropped. And whenever your HCG levels drop, it's it's a definite impending miscarriage. Um, in more cases than not. I'm not gonna say never, because you never know, but in all of my cases, if ever my HCG levels have dropped, it has definitely meant 100% I'm going to miscarry. So at that point, my doctor told me to stop taking the Prometrium, which is the, um, the progesterone, um, because I do need that during pregnancy. And I waited it out, you know, and then five days later, it was over. And it was the worst, probably the worst miscarriage I've ever had. My, my previous ones happened before, like around five weeks. That's kind of my average of when they happen if I'm going to miscarry. Um, but this one was at eight weeks. So I carried 
the baby till eight weeks. I never did have an ultrasound. Once I found out that I was losing the pregnancy, they offered one, but I didn't take it because at that point I was already bleeding, you know, things were already starting and it was just um, very obvious like what it was. And I knew that having an ultrasound, they couldn't stop what was happening. They couldn't stop what was going to happen or the inevitable. Um, so that's basically it. That's why I've been super down um, this last couple of months. I'm, I'm still upset about it, don't get me wrong. I'm still super sad. I'm still, you know, we're still grieving, but I, I feel like I'm at a point now where I can talk to you guys about it and not just cry through the whole video. I lost motivation for everything. I didn't want to clean my house. I didn't want to do YouTube. I didn't want to do anything. So the fact that I got any videos up this last month, I'm like, that's a miracle <laughs> that I got any videos up um, because it was hard. And I think it was harder this time because initially everything looked great. Like everything was awesome and I got the big thumbs up from the doctor and you know, things looked really good. And then for things to go from being really good to not good, um, that was the hard part. That was, I mean, the whole thing was hard, but specifically because we were so sure everything was going to go fine. Um, my due date was uh, February 11th. So we were literally getting things ready to announce it. We were gonna announce it to you guys and to family and to our friends and you know, I, I don't understand God's reasoning for it, um, but I have to believe that he has a purpose in everything and we'll get through it. You know, maybe it's just not the right time, but man, you guys, two miscarriages in four months and we weren't even trying for either one, like weren't even trying, it just happened. So anyway that's what's been going on I just wanted to share with you guys I did have a few like clips I don't know maybe I showed them throughout the video I don't know um, I may just insert some of the pregnancy test clips in there as I'm talking so you guys don't have to stare at my head up and up in the heavens here cuz I mean oh wow look when I lean back it's like my head blends in that's so weird Okay, anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. I am okay. I That's why I, I waited so long to do this video. I, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I, I tacked this video on the end of yesterday's vlog because I was an idiot and totally deleted three clips, like three main clips from yesterday's vlog, um, like right after Narcisa's therapy. I basically deleted the rest of the day, okay? I had a vlogger fail. I ran out of space on my SD card and I, rotated the wrong direction when I went to go delete things so totally my fault but you guys at least now you guys know what's been going on and yeah it's been really hard but like I said a minute ago you know I did wait till I could till I felt emotionally okay to tell you guys so I'm okay my husband's okay we're all okay but we are still very sad and I because I know the question is going to be asked no we have absolutely zero plans of trying to have another baby so at least at this particular moment no plans zero plans <laughs> so anyway I will talk to you guys tomorrow and I hope you guys are all doing awesome and yeah I'll talk to y'all later bye guys